You guys remember like two weeks ago when I made this video and essentially I just went around and gave my turtles calcium to facilitate egg production in the females. Like four days after I made that video, two of my females, Bean and Flipper, were gravid. I have this video right here where I explain how I can tell if a female is gravid or not. And you basically hold onto the turtle like this and you reach up in the thigh region and you, you kind of feel around and you can feel freaking, I mean, it feels like eggs. I don't know, there's no other way to describe it. It feels like eggs in the female. When the eggs are not there, they're completely hollows and your pinkies are almost able to touch like inside of the turtle. It's kind of funky. But basically they're gonna be mamas. So it's super exciting and the girls have the eggs and uh, now we have to get them to lay them. So first allow me to explain the normal process that diamondback terrapins, the species of turtle that I have, take to lay their eggs. Step one have egg. Step two, diggy dig sniffy sniff. Step three, turn dig lay egg. They'll come up on land usually during the height of the day, during the afternoon or something, whenever it's warm and they're comfortable. They shove their noses in the dirt and they start digging with their claws to test the humidity. They like sandy types of soil and they like it a little bit humid. Then the females will go ahead and they'll turn around, take their back legs, and start digging, start doing the thing. Last year I had this problem. I had one of my girls who would come up literally every morning and every night at like 6 a.m. and like 8 p.m. at night. It was in May, so it was warm at night. So I think she was comfortable to come up and she would come up onto the back land area of the pond and she would sniff and dig test holes, but she would never lay the actual eggs. Also last year, one of the girls just escaped the enclosure, the pond entirely, and went and laid them somewhere in the lawn. I checked for the babies that whole year, never found them. So that's why this year I'm trying to get ahead of the curve. I'm trying to make sure that I know exactly where the girls are gonna lay and there's a way that I can do this. Literally as I check my camera right friggin now there she is with one of the boys behind her. See how she has her face kind of looking up? She's looking to try to climb the wall. Yeah I don't know these girls are weird. I don't know why they won't just go up on that whole beach area that I made for them and just pop them. Here's the entire beach area, entire area with beach. And then not only that, I went to the back because last year Flipper kept coming back here looking to lay the eggs and this was all mulch and I thought they don't like mulch. So I pulled out all of the mulch and look, I put like 20 bags of sand here. All of this with sand. Ask me if they use it. No, please go ahead, ask me. I figured that they would just like come up and then come around this way and then come up here and drop them. I don't know, they're just not. So we're gonna try something different today. Basically last year Bean escaped over here before I had this black wire stuff. She escaped over here and then I found eggshells like two months ago over there. I checked every day for babies because I assumed that she laid eggs back there, which she did. I just couldn't find them sadly. There she is. Hey ma'am, Mrs. you, let's go for a walk. Part of the problem is that Bean is so freaking food motivated that if she's looking to lay eggs, like if I pick her up and just place her back there, Flipper last year would like start digging a little bit. She doesn't care in the slightest. All she wants is food. She's still super heavy. And let's see if we can get her to drop some eggies. Let's try this again. Why don't you start digging now, please? So you see, she's only interested in food and she's gonna run back to the pond. She's in food mode, not lay egg mode. And there she goes, back into the pond. Let's try Miss Flip. Come here. She is packed, like literally filled to the brim with eggs. Go ahead, do the thing, ma'am. I'm gonna step away now so she doesn't get bothered by me. And she's turning around because she wants food. Now, I don't think that this will work, but this is the same spot that she busted out of and laid last year. And she kind of stuck her head up to get her bearings and then like made a beeline for this back left corner, which is exactly where she laid the eggs last year. And usually they want to return to the same spot that they had the year prior to lay those little nuggets. Now guys, if I take my eyes off her, you would be so surprised to see how quickly these turtles actually freaking disappear. Literally, it takes seconds for them to just bury and you will never see them again. So you gotta be extra careful with your animals if you decide to do this. All right, so here we have a freshly laid mulch bed that I put Bean in and I was hoping that maybe she would like actually use it and begin nesting. So I'm looking for that behavior and she is just beelining it for uh, a concrete slab for no reason. She's not even trying to nest. She manages to get herself stuck under the fence, trying to get onto the concrete slab even more somehow. So I pick her up and I have to move her over to the other side of the mulch bed. I'm hoping again that she'll start digging and looking for a suitable spot. No, she's looking for more concrete slabs and she gets stuck again. So I move her here, hoping that she'll go on the mulch. And where is she? Not on the mulch, she's in the grass, the undiggable grass, and then she's just leaving. I 
I, I do not know where she's going. She's walking, actually. This is even better. She's walking away from the mulch beds, avoiding the mulch on her left, and she's going towards the street. Yay! She's going towards the street. Uh, there is another mulch bed right before she hits the street, and so I was hoping that maybe she was looking to go to that. Maybe she would use that bush. Sometimes they like to go and dig at the base of plants. But no, she, she starts walking away, and rather than walk towards the street, actually, she turns and begins walking a different way, and this is where things get interesting. She goes onto the grass and tries going underneath the frigging car, so uh, at this point, we're going back to the pond. I just... She didn't even try. She didn't even dig with the front claws or anything. So I said, you know what? I'm tired of stressing her out. It's been like an hour. Um, and so I'm just going to let her go back into the water. And we're going to do what I can do, which is just give her some food, be a supportive owner, give her some snackies, make her comfortable. She's got plenty of spots, like suitable areas to lay in the pond. So I'm just going to give her food make her comfortable, leave her alone, and give her some love and support and uh, a little bit of extra food. And I'm just gonna, you know, see what happens, guys. I have my camera set up. Um, I've got the mini pond here with some of the other critters. I'm feeding everyone at the same time. And yeah, all I can do is just keep watching the cameras. Bye, Bean. I don't know what to tell y'all. I freaking I tried all day yesterday for two hours. I brought her to the beach, let her walk all the way around. She only did the nose dig, I think maybe three times compared to Flipper, where last year when she was in like lay mode, I'd put her on any substrate and she would at least give it one little test. Bean did not do that even once in the hour that I was just outside with her. You know what? I've given them the tools. They have all the sand that they could need. They have all the areas that they could possibly want. When she's ready, she'll be ready. I thought that she was ready. I thought that she was really anxious to drop those eggs, but I guess not. It's going to be totally on her terms now. And worst, worst case scenario, if she starts getting lethargic from holding those eggs for too long, I have oxytocin. It's a natural chemical. It's a hormone actually that just induces labor. And I can use that worst case scenario, pop out the eggs, save mama. She's just not feeling it. So, so be it.